She showed, she showed me the screenshot yesterday of her conversation with one of her friends. The guy is 58 years old and he's almost blind, almost blind. He has minus six or something. His eyesight is very weak. And he said they, they made a note in his documents that he is a sniper. And it was low, like, you know, many smiling smiles. <laughs> what a sniper. <laughs> I'm blind. I have a friend in Russia, um, very good and wise woman. We talk with her every, every single day. She's asking me how was the night, if we are alive, we are dangerous at night or no. So very nice person. After she, she read about this mobilization, new one, she's shocked for two days. She can't talk. She say, oh my God, they took all cars from people. They took all cars from all the companies and enterprises. They took people who never had army experience now. They took people who had ipotech, like these credit loans for um, accommodation, for, for buying houses, you know. And if the woman, for example, babysitting right now, small child, and the husband was the only provider, and people have these huge bank credits. So they take now these people, or even men who has five kids. What's that, actually? So, yeah. Tracy, nice to see you, Tracy. Thanks for joining us today. It's a pure comedy. As Russia tries to call up their reserve military and their alliance of their citizens trying to leave so that they don't have to participate in the special military operation. Yeah, yeah, we all watch all these videos and that's comic. They are drunk, they are fighting. That's real videos, not like performance, you know, like some people try to convince us that oh, all those shows just paid, no. And people shocked, of course, not everybody wants and not everybody uh, supports the war there. So, of course, people don't want to be kind of meat because these people we can call only like meat. They're not prepared, they're not uh, trained, they're not experienced, they're not taught. So they don't have, have uh, the right um, uniform, even weapon. So. No words for that. Pierre, are they always pro-Ukraine side? Uh, Pierre, can you clarify your question, please? Who, about whom we are talking specifically? Who uh, always pro-Ukrainian side? Uh, you mean people who doesn't want to go to war? Not necessarily, if I understand your, uh, your question correctly. It's not necessarily. Because, you know, I was talking with my Russian friend yesterday and she was shocked. I said, that's what we call collective responsibility so you guys accepted the beginning of this war you kept silence uh most of you even quite feeling quite motivated to continue and to be more severe if you read some russian public you can see lots of comments like oh bomb these ukrainians burn kiev stop stop babysitting with them it's time to show them who is the like who is the owner here that's our land blah 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 so they're crazy they're crazy but to talk in the car or Adnaklasniki Ru or in some shitty sorry garbage telegram channels to make scary comments or something like this against Ukraine that's not the same when to take your ass out of sofa, right? To get the uniform, to say goodbye to your small daughter and to go to Ukraine war just before winter. And it's gonna be minus 20, minus 27, how it was last winter. To stay in the ground, in the wet, in the cold, without food and normal weapon and everything. That's different, that's different uh, situations. To talk bullshit, watching TV, that's one thing and to be in the war that's another so mostly of the people who really want ukraine in ukraine i mean from russian side they're not want they don't want to fight because i explained why it's very nice to sit and talk in a warm house you know but when it uh, touches your own family and you personally that's different situation so it doesn't if the people do, don't want to go to war as a soldiers, that doesn't mean they are not uh, accepting 
war in Ukraine or not supporting it. No, that's just like personal fear. I don't want, I don't want to be a meat. Nasash, hello. Ukraine is pulling off the unbelievable and rolling the world to their side. I don't really think Russia will be able to use nuclear weapons. Oh, that's 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 a serious question as well. This nuclear weapon. Uh, before we were thinking. I uh, personally, I was sure that not. He's not going. Uh, people won't let him. People won't let him because uh, anyway, it's not the one person, as all of you know, right? To press the red button. So it's the chain of people, and maybe if he's correct already in his mind but some other people in this chain they have their relatives daughters wives and they want to leave at last at the end of the day they still want to leave not being in bunker <laughs> uh, and uh, so there is a chance that some people in this chain will stop or will be sabotaging these actions right but now they say the chance of his using nuclear weapon is getting higher is getting high really because he's in desperation right now you know i really think uh, most people don't agree with me but my personal vision this war began not not mostly because of political reasons but because of his personal ambitions because he always was hating ukraine he can't let us be independent. He can't understand why people here can live better than in Russia. So I think he's just paranoidally, paranoidally afraid of something. And as a, polit as a politician and even as a military leader, right? So he's guiding the army right now. So his actions, they're out of logic right now. So uh, that tells about what? That the person is not confident, uh, he is sacrificing even his own population. He doesn't care about people in Russia at all. His kids will be happy forever. They will have enough money and everything. They don't care. But simple people under sanctions and everything, he, he doesn't care if you see. So he consider his people right now like a meat. So actually uh there is no logic in his actions and he just won't he's so stubborn he can't stop even if he realizes in his mind right now that it's time to stop but he doesn't know how to to sell it to his population but that would be the best option actually to to make it to make the shit look like a candy right so to wrap it in a nice packaging and telling oh my god we reached our goals uh we changed our goals okay sorry a little bit during the process right and now you know guys we are fighting not with ukraine we are fighting with usa we are fighting with the whole world with nato oh my god the whole world is against us so of course russia cannot continue that for a long time because we understand that's exhausting our country and we can't uh, let our country to get into stagnation and all this shit you know he can't do that he can do that but he doesn't want but logically he should do that he should stop and he should find a way but no he would he would go till the end because he doesn't care right now he doesn't care right now what people think about him i i i'm not telling about ukrainian people about the whole world he lost his final he lost his face finally his reputation the respect i don't know his place in the world now he will be in the history like who like terrorist he's terrorist he's just simple terrorist so thanks god i didn't use the word i used to use in my ordinary life here so not to shock you and not to shock youtube but he's just paranoid terrorist who doesn't know how to stop how to get out of the situation because he didn't expect something like this he understand more weapon is coming here he understand land lease sooner or later hopefully will happen uh here um and um uh, he doesn't know what to do except keep going. The Russians seem to be 
turning against Putin, but I feel this is more because of anti-mobilization, not anti-war. That's correct. That's correct. That was like uh, the same. I answered the question. Yes, the people is protesting not because they don't want war, because they don't want to be a bit. They don't want to be mobilized, uh, to be sent. But what should we do now? That's also their responsibility. If uh, people would stop that at the beginning, so maybe now would be absolutely different situation. Maybe the war already has stopped. You know, but now he will kill all men population of this country. Some of them will be like alcoholics, some injured, some handicapped, some killed. And part of them will escape to Ukraine also, also very possible. And lots of cases like this. So, yeah. Russia is sending non-military non with no training, no weapon experience, no idea what to do in war. They will just go and get killed and Ukraine will hopefully reclaim more land back. Yeah, that's for what we hope. Uh, some people really afraid of this collecting now big army of Russia because it means the war will last longer and we of course very tired of all this. If they don't see a problem with bombing hospitals and maternities, but they are against mobilization, let them pay sending their sons to war. Absolutely, I agree with this idea. I have no empathy for people with that mindset. Absolutely agree, 100%. That's what I was telling to my friend yesterday. I said, what you guys expected? Not to her personally, right? But she said, oh, our men in shock. I said, of course they shock. And they should be shocked. Because if they support the war, they should expect one day they have to stand up and go. It's not like to talk to television or to in Veka. Here is the right time to show the level of your patriotism. That's true. You, you told exactly the same words how I told her, how I explained her. So guys shouldn't be shocked now. If you didn't want or if you could even imagine the situation will go this way. You should stop that. You shouldn't keep silence and you shouldn't support. But what can we do? Hello, привет, and welcome to Ukraine Dating TV. Our channel is the world's first of its kind, providing free live streaming every single day. Ukrainian women, it's like five in one. It's perfect mothers, perfect wives, perfect cookers, perfect lovers, perfect housekeepers and perfect friends. Seven days a week with the real, genuine, beautiful Ukrainian ladies. Our channel was created for you, guys. Finally, now you have the opportunity to video chat live seven days a week with different beautiful Ukraine girls of all ages and walks of life. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine, Ukraine culture, Ukraine women and Ukraine current events. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might even discover what makes us mysterious Ukrainian women too. Now we have seven girls live streaming and in the future we'll have many more. Guys, I think you understand we're like David fighting Goliath here to bring you the truth once and for all. Our channel's purpose is to debunk the myth and stigma created by the toxic paper letter scam industry. And we hope you agree the best way to accomplish that is by giving you the opportunity to video chat with average Ukrainian girls that represent the real women of Ukraine. And then you be the judge about what's real and what's not. Guys, please know that we're doing this all for you. So do me a favor and subscribe to our new channel and help us help you, your fellow man, and help us bring Goliath to his knees. 
So guys, can I ask you to share this video with all your friends, even work colleagues? Share it far and wide in social. Only together we can make a difference, guys. And remember guys, we just started this channel, so more new girls will be joining our live streaming team in the coming weeks. Now, since each girl will be going live every day at different times, so you want to make sure that you hit that bell, so YouTube will notify you every time each girl goes live, so you don't miss out.